Salsa Borg's second season, episode 4. The good bacteria are here. Yeah, that's, that's the... Uh, those are... That's the perfect summary, perfect way to summarize this episode, right? For little cutie cells, right? White blood cell immediately identifies those four as good bacteria. One of them actually kills a giant H. pylori bacteria. Those H. pylori, once they get into your stomach, they can cause ulcers. Alright? They can cause ulcers even stop. Pag uh, binali nyo, it can also lead to stomach cancer. That can be life threatening. So, this little, this little good bacteria takes it out uh, just enough for. 11.46 to completely kill it. Nakatulong pa. Kaya nga good bacteria tawag eh. The human body cannot produce good bacteria. Except yung talagang, yung talagang resident na. Pero like, like ones like, ones like uh, Lactobacillus pipidus, Lactobacillus, uh, Lactobacillus case. Uh, they're, extern they're externally breed, they're externally, they're, they're, they're bred externally. So you have to take that in. So there are also good bacteria that fight against uh, precursors of gout, gout arthritis. All right. There are also good bacteria that uh, that actually eat away at these purines. Purines are impurities. Kapag nag-ipon yan, kapag nag-ipon yan, it can help produce uric acid. That uric acid becomes gout arthritis. That becomes gout. Pumapaligid niya sa mga joints sa paa, sa kamay. Mm. Gout arthritis. To such a point, na hindi na kapag kapag ginalaw kapag ginalaw niyo pa niyo masakit na. Mm. Overall, it's a really good episode. <laughs> Imagine, bilhin niyo. Okay. Good bacteria, good bacteria being portrayed this way, right? I would actually show this episode to a seven-year-old kid to help him understand what drinks like, uh, what drinks like uh, probiotic fluids, like uh, Yakult, uh, any other, any probiotic drink, just to, just to help him understand how beneficial it is to the body. I would actually have him have that kid watch this episode. Ano ba nito? Para para may tindi mo kono ng kono nagagawa ng mga probiotic drinks just sa chan mo. It's easy. The pace, the flow, yeah, the plot. It's now becoming. Uh, it's now becoming. Uh, what is this? Season two's uh, trademark. It's now becoming the trademark of Cells at Work to, to feature two conditions in one episode. The animators behind Cells at Work here, well, it's genius. It's, it's genius to, uh, to present two conditions or uh, two conditions or functions of the body in one episode. Alright? Because, well, you don't, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to drag on in one episode just for one condition, right? It can get really old. It can get really old sometimes. So, maganda, to, maganda talaga ito naisipan ng, na, ng David Production, right? I really, lo I, I really love this episode, okay? It's a, it's a really cute episode, okay? And, haven't you noticed, guys? No platelets. <laughs> Ito pumalit sa cuteness overload ng mga, ng mga platelets na yan, okay? So, there's another bottle of cuteness overload, right? The good bacteria. Wow. I, uh, I tell you guys, if I want the kid to understand how good bacteria works, uh, how, how good bacteria work, I would have that kid watch episode 4 of season 2. Right? So, Cells at Work 2nd Season Episode 4 Two thumbs up Alright, two thumbs up You know what? Um, 
I've already seen season one, and yeah, it's really good. But here, season two, nakaka four episodes balang tayo. Wow, it's a real educational experience for not just me, who's a paramedical de- paramedical degree holder, but also the layman, the layman anime fans who were uh, who are well, bottom line, stumped as to. Uh, how 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 the immune system works? How how the how the body keeps healthy? How the body gets sick? Okay. Cells at work is the perfect uh, is the perfect visual aid for for human physiology, right? I tell you, it is a perfect visual aid for human physiology or pathology. Something like physiology, pathology. Even anatomy. Okay. Cells at work also um, also gives bits and pieces here of human anatomy. So again, Cells at Work Season 2 Episode 4. Thumbs up. All right. The very cute good bacteria are not done yet. So we'll just watch it in the next episode. Kung maganda to. <clears throat> Here's a hint. The next episode would be related to the keto diet. Alright, I'll, ex- I'll explain it next week once we review that episode. Cells at Work Code Black Episode 6. First and foremost, this is probably the most relatable episode I've, uh, I've ever seen from Code Black. Why? Because well, it tackled a um, it tackled a condition that is well, should I say close to home? Because well, we talked about kidney stones here, right? We talked about kidney stones here. Um, any kidney disease, for that matter. Uh, leads to what happened in this episode. Okay, it's not just kidney stones actually, but kidney stones are are more common. Okay, it can lead to well, if untreated, and if you and despite medications, if you abuse your kidneys, if you abuse your kidneys after that, it will lead to kidney failure, which almost did in this episode. Right, the kidney stones were actually that. Were, they actually were big enough to rupture the blood vessels. So, lo and behold, bloody urine, right? Pyuria or purulent urine. We got to see, we got to see how um, how how the kidneys were portrayed here so, through the glomeruli. It's an all female. Um, it's uh, it's all female. Who sacrificed her life just to save one of her glomeruli? Kasi na invade na ng bacteria yung ureter mismo. Nakaabo na dun sa yung talagang yung talagang lagay na mga glomeruli, which is in the kidney itself. So yun. But eventually, the white blood cells uh, were able to uh, to keep the damage to a minimum. Si the female white blood cell here yun. Napatay yung particular bacteria na yun. Overall, yeah, it's a, like I told you guys, it's the most relatable episode I have seen in this anime. Kasi nga, the, uh, the condition, the condition talked about, the condition they were talking about here is close to home. My dad died of stage 5 kidney disease. Not exactly kidney stones, no? Talagang, he got that because he, well, he was uh, so, so over-dependent on anti-arthritic drugs. Painkillers. I couldn't help but talk about it, but I was really trying to, try, trying very hard at the time to tell him to just go topical na lang. Kasi may damage lang ang kidneys niya. Nakakita na. Ang damage sa kidneys niya. So, Dad, magvota rin cream ka na lang. At least diretso sa joint yun. 
it doesn't have to go through your blood vessels or your kidneys. But didn't listen. He still didn't listen. For uh, going back to the episode, the pace, the flow, the plot. Shut up, ako. <laughs> Shut up, ako. Right? This is exactly how the glomeruli work. Talagang yun ang primary function ng kidneys. That's the, that's the primary function of the kidneys. To filter your blood. Yan ang taga-filter talaga ng dugo mo. So, you lose one kidney. You know, you know, your blood is now roughly 50% clean na lang. Your, your blood is now roughly 50 to 60% clean na lang. At iso shoulder lahat ng all the filtering all the filtering activities will not be shouldered by your surviving kidney. You don't take care of that. You'll, pro you'll probably end up in a casket. Alright? So Cells at Work Code Black Episode 6 Two thumbs up. The most relatable two thumbs up I have ever given. Mainly because what? Uh, what did the what did male red blood cell here? It hit home. Alright. Uh I just I just gotta I just had to watch this episode to say it's about kidney stones. It's all about the kidneys. Alright. If I were to um, to teach someone how the kidneys work. I would give them a link to this episode. So, I oh, pre. Kung hindi ka naniniwala sa sinasabi ko, panoorin mo Cells of Code Black, episode 6. Yan, panoorin mo. That's how the kidneys work. And how the kidneys will die if you don't take care of them. Alright? Come to think of it, drugs na, laser treatment pa. Oh, no, no. Ganon kaseryoso na ang kondisyon ng kidneys ng body na to. Right? So like, um, like the red blood cell, like the male red blood, like male red blood cell said, that's how a cold black environment works. No matter how dangerous your job, the work area is now, you still have to work. You only have time, you don't have time to complain, but there's still, but there's still time to just cry your heart out okay. to cry the stress out okay. something to that effect right so cells at work code black episode 6 2 thumbs up again the most relatable 2 thumbs up I have ever given so what's next mm. you're gonna start to it you're gonna have to be your teaser. <laughs> if I were you guys, I would watch episode six. Okay? If you, uh, if you have a family history of kidney disease, or um, or if you're work, or if you're predisposed to kidney disease, any kind, okay, any kind, watch this episode. Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 3. Wow. Let's advance to the final scene. Final scene, they won over a, a lackey of Chupasa named Nikki. Who is... Wow. Crazy strong ass. I mean... Yung name ng, ano, ng best friend ni, ano? Name ng best friend ni Senko? Baka na lang, forgot. Taiju! Yun! Si Taiju. Pinagsasapak na si Taiju. Nakatayo pa rin si Taiju. <laughs> so, that means they're evenly matched. Okay? Yung pala, judo. Judo ka pala to. Judo ka. In Pinoy terms, judista. She knows judo. Okay? Tsaka, mukha, mukha talaga malakas eh. 
So they they were able to win her over to to the side of the kingdom of science. All because she is a fan of a uh, of a uh, what's called this a, uh, a pop icon named si, uh, si Miss Weinberg yon kano kano kasi meron silang meron silang na preserve na kante na kanta nun in a uh, in a crude record ganon kakapal na plaka eh. ganon kakapal na plaka so akin pag deal actually siya ang nag siya ang nag-offer ng deal si Nikki pinakiusapan lang niya na i-preserve i- i-preserve yung nag-iisang kantang yun ni ano ni ni Miss Weinberg kasi nga super fan siya ng, ng singer na yun super fan siya so All right, and we also, sabi ni Sengo, we also need to protect this song to to win o, to win over some uh, members of the Chukasa Army. So nasabi niyo yung panong general plan. We have to protect. Sabi ni Sengo, we have to protect this song even if it kills you. You're too na convincing niki na na to be fake. It's a kingdom of silence. Grabe. Grabe negotiation nila rito. And the way they uh the way they were the way uh Gen was able to escape from that yung yung archer na may super talas na hearing. Talagang all it takes is all it takes is a distraction. Galing. Galing. Overall, it's a really good episode. Okay? It is a really good episode. Grabe. But imagine Taiju uh, blocking out that that uh, that cell phone receiver from supposedly Senku's grave. Lakas niya, no? Lakas niya. From the way I see it, from when when I saw the pilot, talagang ano siya? Ah, uh, siya yata ang pinaka loyal kay kay Senku rito. At saka sila talaga mag best friend eh. After 3,700 years, sila pa magkaibigan pa rin sila. <laughs> magkaibigan pa rin sila. So, wow, okay, the pace, the flow, and the plot, shut up ako. <laughs> it just all fell into place in uh, in the final few sequences. It just fell, it, the, the, all three of those fell into place. Talagang, uh, it was a really good episode. It, it was a really good episode. Just goes to show you, Science again has the upper hand in the Stone Wars. So, Doctor Stone Stone Wars episode three. Two thumbs up. Okay, two thumbs up. Okay, I'll tell you another reason why. Nagaako si Senko kasi na this will, this war will not result in bloodshed. Yan na pinagaako niya sa mga sa mga iba niyang kasamahan. We do not need bloodshed to win this war. Sabi. Yan ang yan ang parang niya sinasabi. Now, they have won someone from Chukasa's army over to their side. Nakipag-deal lang. Okay? Kung maga namulitika, dinaan sa, polit- sa politika ni Senko. Okay? Dinaan niya ito sa politika. Which can't be considered can't be considered a science, alright? In today's landscape, yes, it is considered a science. So the art of the art and science of negotiation, kumbaga. So talagang it really really kind of deal with Nikki. O sige. If I preserve ko kantang ito, kahit kahit ilangan ko pa ang buhay ko. Okay. You got... As long as, long as you... As long as you switch sides to us. Yun. Nikki eventually uh, decided to... to defect to the Kingdom of Science. So, that's a powerful ally they got. That's a powerful ally they got. Mukhang malakas eh. Binabin mo, nasasapak. Nasasapak na si Taichu. Nasasapak na si Taijo. Ito naman si Taijo. 
tuwa, nakatayo pa rin, parang parang baliwala rin sa kanya. So, technically, they're evenly matched. Right? They're evenly matched. So again, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 3. Two thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. So, well, <clears throat> Dr. Stone, I think it's not known for for teasing the next episode too much. So, nakita lang natin yung Titan ng next episode. Ang ganda lang. Okay. Okay, ga. Okay, Kingdom of Science, we're going to watch the next episode because you got me sold on this one. Dr. Stone got me sold on, on this episode. Higurashi 2020 episode 17 you may have noticed that this is not uh, this recording is off well a, uh, an accident happened so I am re-recording this review now advanced din pala mag-isip si Rika no? so she thought well uh, this uh, Takano was, was about to kill her but nope she confessed to a crime it felt like I just woke up to another reality right this episode was wow mind-boggling okay if I do say so myself we all wake up to this episode wherein a disease called Hinamizawa syndrome is um, is on the loose and I think case number one is Sato's brother right now, final scene. Well, <laughs> it gets more mind-boggling there. Satoko suddenly points a gun at Rika for... Maybe she was pissed off at the present R Rika gave her. It's just her brother's teddy bear. Wow. Right? Things are really off now. Overall, it's... Well... Like I said a while ago, it's a it's a totally mind-boggling episode. But hey, I'm not saying it's a bad one. It's really fucking good. Right? Take note, Maha Lifestyle. This is a dementia anime. It is meant to make you think. Well, congratulations, Igurashi. You you racked my brain with this episode. The pace, the plot, and the flow. Something well, typical of a dementia anime, but unique to unique to this uh, unique to this reboot. Wow, right? No anime has racked my brain. Uh, yeah, no anime has racked my brain this way. Grabe. First sixteen episodes, we saw. We saw people intentionally killing each other. Now, in episode 17, I think they're about to kill each other because of a disease. Okay? And it's called Hinamizawa Syndrome. It's named after the town they're in. Alright. It's been more than 24 hours since I saw this episode. But up to now, it still racks my brain. Alright. So... Higurashi 2020, episode 17. Two thumbs up. Another thing. Where did this disease come from? How did this disease show itself? Right? I guess it's... Um, I guess it's Oyashiro's handiwork again. Well... You got a better explanation for that? I don't know. Because, well, probably Rika saw through her. She suddenly rewrites the rules of her curse. But hey, don't get me wrong, Aka Lifestyle. This is a really good episode. Okay? An episode that is, well, that is expected of a dementia anime. But I tell you, it's the first time that. An anime has racked my brain this way. 
to the point that more than more than 24 hours later it's it still boggles my mind grabe and did you notice that um did you notice that well it's the end of a mini arc and the start of a new one hmm? so again Higurashi 2020 episode 17 and my dog is coughing I'll get to him later two thumbs up so well let's just wait for the next episode I can't wait what is going to happen in that new mini arc Promised Neverland second season episode four. Wow. Right. I thought this uh well I thought this episode's going to bore me to death. To tell you the truth, okay? But uh, midway through midway through the uh what you call this? Midway through the episode Mejo Uh Tawagita it's become too quiet then all of a sudden pak ni raid sila ng human allies ng mga demons <laughs> grabe that scene was wild right akala ko may uuuri sa kanila eh. but they all escaped they all escaped literally okay? all children are accounted for and well a familiar character from season 1 returns si mama hmm. she wants to get them all back Exchange for her, exchange for her freedom. First part was heartwarming, alright? Nakatawang tignan yung mga bata pag nagkakasayahan. Nagkakasayahan sila. They learn how to, they learn how to, they brushed up on their hunting skills. Nakatawa. Overall, yeah, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. But, um, all this, Medyo may kulang pe. Medyo may kulang. Okay? Medyo may kulang. Dahil, uh, what I noticed was the, um, well, the pace and the flow uh, suddenly changed gears in the latter third of the episode. Yung bigla-biglang cambio, right, from, from light-hearted drama to uh, what's it called this? To cold, cold blooded, to cold blooded action, alright? In just, just like that in a few seconds. Uh, they could have made it, um, they could have made it like episode 3. Kumbaga, nag-hint muna, tsaka boom! Ginan na ng action, alright? Parang ganun yun eh. Not, 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 not like episode 3, but episode, uh, Episode one, episode one, parang ganon. But it is a, it is a really good episode. It's a really good episode. Yung plot, yeah, uh, it's really good. Dahil ano yun? Uh, from, baga, it's a more quiet before the storm type of ano yun? Plot, parang ganon yun. Ganon yung dating sa akin. So. Maybe this is the, maybe this is the, uh, the plot the Promised Neverland is known for. Say, well, uh, some people find this anime disturbing. Maybe this is one of the reasons why. So, the Promised Neverland second season episode four. On top of now. Well, kasi. When the episode ended, I wasn't, um, I wasn't quite satisfied with how, uh, how it developed, right? How it developed. Character-wise, the development is there, right? All the kids know how to survive in that harsh world now. They know how to survive now. And at the first, you know, the first sign of danger, they bolt the shelter. They, they, they escape the shelter with well literally with their lives 
literally with their lives. But, um, but it happened all of a, really all of a sudden. But, uh, these soldiers came out of nowhere, just, these, sol these soldiers came out of nowhere, blasted their way through the shelter, and, well, they tried to take them alive. Sana demons. Sana, sana demons yung mga, per, yung mga pursuers ngayon. As in the first three episodes. As in the first three episodes, sana, ganun, ano yun. Now, it's humans. Okay? Now, it's, now it's humans after death. I, uh, essential na, but I, I really don't get it. I really don't get the, that part of the plot. But, I've already given my rating. So, let's see what happens in the next episode. So, again, the Promised Neverland second season episode 4 on the bottom on the bottom okay this anime only teasers the title of the next episode so well we'll just have to we'll just have to watch the next episode right? we'll just have to watch the next episode and well hopefully it's uh, hopefully I can give a better rating than this one Jujutsu Kaisen episode 16. Wow! <laughs> Putang inang yan. Ganun pala kalakas yung panda na yun. Walang iya. It blew my mind how how powerful a Jujutsu Sorcerer Panda is. He's not exactly a mutated uh, he's not a mutated animal but a uh, ano yan? A cursed corpse na pinalaki ng headmaster ng ng Jujutsu Tech yung kumbaga yung headmaster nila Itadori siya pala nagpalaki doon kaya pala gano'ng kalakas <laughs> grabe against uh, Mechamaru a, uh, a cyborg kumbaga and well we, we also found out here that Mechamaru is is just a remote controlled puppet alright <clears throat> yung totoong Jujutsu Sorcerer is from a distance lang. Kung baga nire-remote control niya ang puppet na to. Talo! Okay. Talo kay Panda. Wow! Grabe! And what's the deal with Todo? Here he is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sukuna's vessel tapos may tinuturo pa siyang pointers along the way. <laughs> Tsaka twing tinatamaan siya ni Itadori, nakangiti pa! Anak na huwa yung tingo! Sadista! No, 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 I mean, say this, but a masochist, okay? Masochist na pala tong lokong to. Grabe! I thought I would, I thought I seen it all in todo, okay? He's not just a, uh, a big brute, He's also a lolicon, and now he's a masochist. <laughs> Grabe. Woo. Even, even, even he blew my mind uh, while watching this episode. Grabe. But, but anyway, Panda scores the first win. Hey, he retires Mekamaru. So next up is, uh, I think it's Mai. Yan. We may have a speed na ganon. Overall. It is a roller coaster one episode. Grabe. And you thought Jujutsu Kaisen had already already showed its best fight scenes? Ah, ah. You haven't seen Panda vs. Mechamaru. Grabe. Yung pace, yung flow, yung plot, siyempre carry over. Lahat yun. Carry over lahat yun from, from, uh, from the previous episode. I've never, I've never been this month, this... Never has my mind this been, uh, this blown, blown away since God of High School. Okay? Grabe. This episode in itself is a masterpiece when it comes to, when it comes to fight sequences. Kaling. Right? But story-wise, yeah, shut up ako. <laughs> so, Jujutsu Kaisen episode uh ano yung episode yun? episode 16 two thumbs up and a b b 
Victor. Yeah. Two thumbs up and a Victor. Grabe. No. Um, we've only seen, uh, I think, how many backstories did we see here? One by one thousand. Okay. We've only seen Mega Marus and Panda's backstory here, so it was nicely done. It didn't make the episode boring kasi dalawang backstory. Kasi naglalaban, naglalaban na sila rito eh. So parik na sila ng backstory as to how they became Jujutsu Sorcerers, how they ended up in that school, parang ganon. Wow. It was nicely done. Because it's part of the plot. Okay? It was part of the plot and the flow of the episode. Yung dalawang backstory nila. This is one of the anime's best episodes. Uh, probably next to uh, next to episode four, where Itadori loses himself and Sukuna takes over. Yun na brutal. <laughs> Yun na brutal. Pero uh, this this takes second place. This takes second place. Itong episode nato. Grabe. I don't mind watching this episode over and over again. <laughs> Because of the action, right? So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 16. Two thumbs up. Hey, I feel you, Panda. Two thumbs up. Si grabe si Panda rito. OP si Panda rito. Yun lang masasabi ko. So, next episode. Wow. You probably now have an idea of uh, on whose on on whose uh, whose battle we're going to focus on now. So shut up, ako. Basta OP si Panda. OP si Panda. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode thirty-four. Wow! All right. What I just witnessed is, was probably one of the um, one of the best non-human okay, non-human duels in the franchise. Kaling. Si ano nga ba name nun? The let me check. Okay. Yung si Chikako. Okay. Chikako is her name. The duel between Chikako and Sebastian. All right. Isang A, si, Fing, si Chikako ay isang alien. Si Sebastian naman, we all know, is a drone. Okay? Siya yung uh, um, the transforming massage chair of Neil. <laughs> In the final scene, only Kaizo was able to, to inform Neil of what's happening to Yuga. Right? Si, well, for, unfortunately, Sebastian lost that duel and Bob, he probably got, um, he probably got destroyed. Kasi nag, nag shot off na yung mukha niya eh. Nag shot off na. So, talagang wala na. Alright. Sebastian is gone. Sebastian is gone. Overall, okay, overall, it's one hell of an episode. Galing. Not only works in Yu-Gi-Oh! But it works in any anime. Okay? You get, you get those major art feels that every... Uh, Episode in, episode out, there's a cliffhanger ending. Ganon. That's the hallmark of a major arc. Okay? Halos, well, halos every episode may cliffhanger ending. I felt that in this episode. Okay? Tabi ni Yuga. Chance natin to. Hmm. Kapasok sila. That's where the episode ended. Galing. But the... Let's talk about the duel! Ang kwela! Alright. Now, <clears throat> I still have no idea what uh, what common type, what common monster type Sebastian's deck has. Ay, uh, pinakalumutan ko na eh. I think hindi. Nabanggit yata no, nung first time siya mag-duel. I think that was... Um, Finja yata yun. Finja yata lahat ng monsters na ginagamit niya. Now, for Chicago, uh, ang hula ko dyan is ano yun, baka pyro ito eh. Baka pyro. If not pyro, cybers. Hindi, hindi siya mukhang cybers eh. If it's either pyro or rock. Yeah. 
Ayan. Either pyro siya or rock. Impossible cyber kasi hindi siya ano eh. It's not. It's hindi techno nila kung jure talagang primitive eh. Right? So, yeah. Eventually, Chicago won. Wow. Okay, pero, wag nyo ha. Maganda yung playstyle. Mas nagaganda na ako sa playstyle ng deck ni Sebastian. Mas nagaganda ka na ako. Kasi, bilang mo, you have, if you're the opponent, mm, you have three zero attack monsters in front of you. So, natural! Aba eh, pesta ka sa damage, but no, no, no! Sebastian used a card here that prevents you from attacking any zero attack monster he has. Parang ano eh? Parang level limit area A. Parang ganun. Pero, ang area A, dip, nakadepende sa level ng, ng monster. Level ng kalaban monster. So, level 4 or lower. Yun ang ano doon. Level 4 or lower. Yun ang nililimit yan. Ito, yung mismong attack ng monster mo. Yung mismong attack ng monster mo. If you have, if you have three zero attack monsters on your field, you can, your opponent cannot attack you. So, in essence, your opponent doesn't have a battle phase. <laughs> Walang battle phase. Ah, ano gagawin niya? Diba? So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 34, two thumbs up. And a big toe. <laughs> Two thumbs up and a big toe. When was the last time I saw an so a pure non-human duel? Yung talagang both combatants, both duelists were they were they were human. Hindi ko But there there are there were duels before na uh, that did not involve uh, the human characters. Okay, so. I, I just forgot, pero I believe, I believe this is the first time in a long time that I saw a non-human duel. Alright, and wow, they put on a show. Okay? They really put on a great duel. Oh, medyo nag-back and forth sa uli. Medyo, medyo nag-back and forth sila sa uli. Galing. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 34. Two thumbs up. Alright. A... We will miss you, Sebastian. Two thumbs up. Next episode has been teasered. I'm gonna fill in. I'm gonna fill you in on the details. Uh, Maha lifestyle Twitch. I'm gonna fill you in on the details. All you need to do is watch this episode para malaman yun. King's Raid episode 18. What can I say about this episode? It's all Roy, right? Um, yeah, he's got a pretty, pretty interesting backstory. He's got a pretty interesting origin story as to how we ended up in the Tower of Sage. Final scene, he gives, uh, yeah, he finally faces the captain. Yun. Took his head off, just ended his misery. Ended, ended, ended the man's misery. Gave them, gave them a proper burial and nangako on their grave si Roy na to just, uh, to just, to just carry on what they started. So, overall, it's a really good episode, right? Bilip ako, bilip ako sa episode na to. They had a um, well, uh, it was a great way to uh, to what you call this to to give closure to something. I can call this episode a closure episode. Right? Kasi, what's happening? Nagkwento si Roy. Kanyang origins. So, he ends up in the Tower of the Sage. He read everything about the undead. Now as well, first at it, of course. Tinim, tinim up sila. Uh, Pinair sila ni, ni Cleo, the fire sorceress. In order, para sila naman ang sasama kay Castle. Na para i-retrieve ang Holy Sword. Right? 
you would call this a closure episode kasi pagkakwento pagkakwento ng ng main character he instantly well he instantly resolved this issue right kumaga all in one episode they did not drag they did not drag it on to the next talagang talagang tinapos nila sa episode na to tinapos nila yung issue ni Roy na yun So, the pace, the plot, and the flow, ikaw nga sa Manalo. Ang ganda! Okay? Ang ganda! So, King's Raid, episode 18. Two thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. I never thought, um, backstories would be given closure this way. As in, ganong ka-definite na closure. Kasi, Uh, naging undead silang naging undead silang natin lahat ng lahat ng kasamahan ni Roy kumbaga yung pinagdaanan ni Roy napagdaanan na rin ng Black Edge right so I see um, uh, I don't want to be a prophet or something but I am seeing an episode that will pit not reheat against Castle but but Reheat versus Roy. Right? I am slowly picturing that right now. Kasi parang yung nagkaparaw sila na pinagdaanan eh. But um, Reheat's Reheat's experience was much worse kasi nakalaban nila si Malduk. Nakalaban nila mismo si Malduk. Yung kay Roy ano lang eh. Uh, his captain step on just step on a trap and that that triggered everything eh. That triggered the whole incident. Pero, the result was the same. They were the sole survivors of... They were the sole survivors of an attack. Of a major attack. Of a massacre. Yeah, yeah. Massacre is a more appropriate word for it. Parang silang victims of a massacre. So... <clears throat> I, I see them coming... I see both coming to... Uh, coming to a confrontation. So, mas likely na mangyayari is Reheat versus Roy then Reheat versus Castle. Right? Kasi by the time that happens, probably, probably, Castle is above Reheat's level. Castle, Castle probably by that time would be in a totally different level. Hindi na ka. Hindi na kakayanin ni, ni Reheat yun. Right? But, It's just my prediction. You don't need to... You guys don't need to take my word for it. Yun lang analysis ko. Alright? That's just my analysis. Alright? So again, King's Raid, episode 18. Two thumbs up. Hey, I feel you, Roy. Two thumbs up. So next episode, wow, medyo magulo yung teaser for the next episode. We'll just have to... We'll just have to watch it. Alright? We just have to watch it. Yashahime episode 17. Wow. Uh, Tinrap sila ni Konton, but uh, they were successful in uh, they were successful in cracking, in cracking it. And final scene, lo and behold. <laughs> They now have their chance to kill this son of a bitch. <laughs> But the way I see it, uh, Toa was the Toa was the key to their success. Because uh, he knew that the modern science, the uh, what you call this, the pagkaka figure out the spell ni Konton, right? Ginami ginami niya kasi ano nito eh. Uh, what call this? Ginamit niyang form of comparison. He, she, she compared Colton's spell to a Mobius strip. Na-break nila yung spell, natuntunan nila si Colton. Galing. Whew. Overall, it's a fucking good episode. Alright? It's a fucking good episode. Pace, uh, flow, 
the plot, it all came together. Pero, bitin? <laughs> Ando na eh! Ay, nando na! Hindi, hindi pa tinanay sa pagtumba. Grabe! Pinitin pa tayo! Pinitin pa tayo ng mga animators! But anyway, it's... I'm gonna rephrase what I just said. It is a fucking good setup. Right? It's a fucking good setup. Kasi, uh, it was teasered already for the next episode na part 1 pa lang ito. Right? And it's one hell of a part 1. It's one hell of a part 1. Kasi, um, Condon is being, Condon is being treated as the girl's arch enemy here eh. Siya talaga ang arch enemy nila rito kasi hindi nila talaga matumba. Hindi nila talaga matumba ito. Alright? Talagang, they had a really hard time uh, dealing with Conton. Right? From, from the get-go. So, kumbaga, third encounter na nila ito kay Conton. And mukhang madadali na nila. They're finally got to, going to get their hands at this guy. Talagang, this scumbag. Okay? So, Yasahime, episode 17. Two thumbs up. Alright? A, uh, bitin in a nice way, two thumbs up. Bakit? Eh, bakit nyo naman yung ending, di ba? Bakit nyo naman yung ending? They were already there face to face with Conton, about to take him out then. The episode ends. Alright? Hindi siya yung hindi siya yung beat klase ng beat na talagang na na maiinis ke. No. Nope. You got I I got more excited about it. I I am now looking forward to the next episode kasi mukhang eto na eh. All right? Maganda yung build up from from the get go eh. Maganda yung naging build up to to this point in the episode. Kaya, it's a great setup, hence, my rating. So again, Yasahime episode 17, two thumbs up. A, yeah, looking forward type of two thumbs up. So, next episode has been teacher, mukhang maganda. <laughs> mukhang maganda to. I cannot wait. Woo! I just cannot wait. So, talagang, hintayin na lang natin, guys, okay? Hintayin na lang natin. Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 8. <sighs> we couldn't say it's uh, collateral damage, but... Sasha gets shot by Gabi. Alright? So... It's quite a sad moment in... Uh, it's quite a sad moment for the entire anime because uh, she's, she's played a huge part in uh, in the scouts of the Survey Corps. And to go down like this, parang... She, she wasn't killed in the assault, but she got killed by an assassin's bullet. Which was the title of the... Which was the title of the episode. Uh, in the end, well, I think Eren acted on his own for for this attack. Okay. And well, um, the moment he boarded, he got arrested. The moment he boarded, he got arrested by his by, by his fellow scouts. And now I think they're in <clears throat> in the final scene. Sean is actually blaming Eren for for all of this. Alright? Overall, it is a gut-wrenching episode. Okay? Kasi, ano na eh? Um, it, it looks like, it looked like it eh, that Eren acted on his own and he was relaying his actions to, relaying his, act, relaying his actions to, of course, to, Levi and the rest of the the rest of the scouts. So yeah. 
they have no choice but to to act on on Eren's info. Ayun na. Hence the assault. All right. The pace, flow, the plot. Yeah. But now nah, it'll, it'll be too early. I think the um <clears throat> let's just say Paradis did this. Okay. The the Paradisians, the the Eldians who lived on that island, siya, sila Eren, they only they only followed Eren's lead just to prove a point. It's either for revenge or or a show of domination, right? That's how the politics of war. That's how the politics of war works. It, all right? You either you either prove a point or just put them in their place. So, yeah, it's either way. But either way, they won this battle. Uh, Eren, and the, Eren and the others just proved to the, proved to the Marlians that, hey, you've been, you've been stomping on us. It's about time we stop back. So, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 8. Two thumbs up. A modest two thumbs up. Why? Because well, uh, it's a wrap. Ne, it's considered a wrap now by 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 Levi. It's considered a wrap. Because well, they have decimated, they have killed the Warhammer Titan. They capture one. They incapacitate two. So and. They've also eliminated the entire Marlian fleet through, of course, the Colossal Titan. The new Colossal Titan. So, um, if that isn't considered a message by Marley, I don't know what will. <laughs> Kung ikay isang bansa tapos ginanong ka ng kalaban, don't you think, don't you think the other side has just declared war on you? When you're the one always declaring war on other countries. Right? Kumaga, this is a classic case of tit for tat. And episode 8 capped it off. Right? So again, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 8. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Now, I am not sure about the, about the next episode that has been the episode that has been teasered after. You know. We'll see. Alright? We'll see. So we'll just have to we'll just have to watch the next episode. X Arm Episode 4. Wow! Ogre is the name of the Exo frame na Pinoses ni Akira. Grabe! Grabe yung angas niya rito. But, the final, the final moments, he, uh, he hacks into Norad. He hacks into Norad. Tapos, just, just to, just to beat Elmira and Mora and Ro. Grabe. Lumabas ang pagkademonyo ni Akira rito. Lumabas ang pagkademonyo niya. He went devil mode uh, at the end of the episode. Grabe! Wow! He almost lost it! Talagang... Talagang, talagang papatay niya si Elmira ganun eh. He is... Talagang, wow! He is about to crush Elmira's head. Siguro by, by, by just punching it. Talagang pinagilan na sila ni... Ano eh, ni, ni... Ni Alma. Hinak siya ni Almang ganun. Uh, he, he, got, he got shot back into reality. Akira showed in this episode how how dangerous his hacking abilities are. I thought... Uh, my brain went... My brain went... <laughs> I never knew Akira had this in him. <laughs> my God! Grabe yun! Grabe ginawa niya rito! No wonder... No wonder the chief of the anti-airs 
anti X arm squad is is scared of him. Talagang nagalangan yung yung chief nila na isali siya sa team. Now I know why. Wow. Simply wow. All right. Overall, it is one hell of an episode. Probably even better than episode three. Probably even better than episode three. Grabe. I said it time and again ever since I started reviewing this anime. Alright? This anime has potential. Am I right? Or am I right? For those of you who have seen episode 4, Tama ba ako? Tama ba ako? Of course, tama ako! <laughs> Cyberpunk and mecha animes are... Probably a diamond, probably a dime a dozen these days. Until, until animes like X Arm Back Arrow started airing, started airing last month. Pero I chose, pero I chose X Arm over Back Arrow because uh, I weighed both synopses, yung sa X Arm sa Back Arrow, and to well, I had to give priority to X-Arm kasi talagang na-delay ito. Six months delayed ito. It was supposed to air. It was supposed to air in the summer of 2020 pa. But due to the pandemic, the animators and producers decided to move it to this year. But, I think in November, they announced that they're going to air this in January. So, sige, sakto. Sige, lahigo na. Then the return, then the returning animes announced their airing schedule. X Arm ended up as the only brand new anime I'm reviewing right now. It's not part of a franchise like Cells of Park Code Black, so it is a brand new standalone anime. Like I told you guys, it has potential. Lo and behold, back to back episodes, ang lupit. Pace, flow, and plot-wise, napagalan ang utak ko. <laughs> I gotta admit, the animation is... It needs a little more work, but... You know me, Twitch. You know me, mga lifestyle. I'm more into the storyline than the animation. I do not give a fuck what kind of animation an anime has. As long... As long as I... As long as I dig the story... I am going to watch it. I am going to watch it. So, X Arm Episode 4. Two thumbs up. And a big two. Two thumbs up and a big two. He wants to end Elmira right there and then. He's had enough of he's had enough of their evil. He's had enough of his of her master's evil. Kaya siguro, I'm going to fucking end your life right here. <laughs> I'm going to fucking end your life right here. Until Alma stops him. Uh, drags him back to reality. Thank God for, uh, thank God for Alma. Okay. Never have I seen uh, well, the character development for Akira and Alma. I love it. I simply love it. Kasi, you know, Akira goes, Akira almost loses it. Alright? So, yung character development ni Akira almost went ganun. Almost went, pag ganun na siya eh, biglang, biglang, whoop, before he goes like that, Alma snatches him back into reality. So, Alma is now developing a conscience. Alright? And somewhat, well, emotional attachment to Akira? Well, we don't know. Alright? Kasi kapwa niya, well, <clears throat> technically, technically, Akira is still alive because his brain is still functioning. So, that makes him human. But Alma, he, well, uh, he, uh, 
AI cyborg of sorts. Seems to develop. Seems to, yeah. Magandang character development ni Alma rito. She is slowly developing a conscience. Alright. And yes, sort of emotional attachment to Akira kasi parang nga silang cyborg. Alright. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe that's an angle the, um, the animator should delve into, should deep dive into. I don't know, I'm just a fan, I'm just a reviewer. We almost saw the main protag lose it. Si Alma na talaga sumalba sa kanya. So, we can say that Alma is Alma is the real hero of this episode. Kasi she was the one who saved the main protagonist from from becoming a demon. From becoming a heartless demon. Thank God for Alma. <laughs> so, again, X Arm Episode 4 Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, which is our next episode. Hmm. I probably have a good idea bakit ganun yung setting, but I'm not gonna tell you. So, all we have to do is watch it. Cooking Master Boy season, oh, second season, episode four. Wow, this is one. Um, it's a wild episode, right? I say, well, Mao is going. Mao has just begun battling one of the five Tiger Stars. mga mga big five cooking on the road. Lian is very familiar with them. Did you see? You see how Mao, uh, ac- how Mao accepted Yakan's challenge. Puta inangasal, inangasal pa eh, no? Nakipang angasal pa eh. Wala, wala tao si Mao ngayon. It's not just, um, it's not just him being a super chef that he, that he's that, that he's this fearless. No, he has, um, he's totally confident in his, in his cooking techniques. Does he, does he actually have a cooking technique? I don't think so. He thinks on the fly. Alright? This is how... Kaya... Mainit at dugo sa kanya ng cooking underworld eh. Mainit at dugo sa kanya talaga. I'm totally speechless when it comes to this episode. You wanna, you wanna know why, guys? You wanna know why? Uh, mga kalaysan, Twitch. Because I could not recall this episode from the original series! Parang, parang i-reimagine, parang, I felt this was a total reboot of, uh, of one of those original episodes. I felt, I felt this is a total reboot, okay? But, it's, it, it was done splendidly, okay? Not nicely, splendidly. Overall, like I said kanina, it is a splendid episode. It's a, Wow. It's totally reimagined. So much that I, I could not recall this episode from the original series. The pace, yung plot, the flow, grabe. Okay. It's just proof that you, uh, well, siguro, uh, I, could not, I could not remember this episode. Baka, kasi 54 episode run yung original na Cooking Master Boy. So, I think that this episode... If you if you look at it in the original series, it's three episodes yata. I think two episodes. I think it was two episodes. Then three episodes pala. It was three episodes. So, uh, hindi ganun ka lakas yung recall ko when uh, when I saw this when I saw this episode. Kasi yung I think yeah, three episodes condensed into one yata to. So, it's totally reimagined. It's totally reimagined. Galing. Okay? It was neatly pulled off. No, not neatly. Splendidly pulled off. Right? It was splendidly pulled off. Galing. Tsaka, tinakam na naman ako ng si... Tinakam na naman ako ng anime na to. Yung ano niya, yung pulled... Yung golden pulled pork na niluto ni Mao. Puta, tinakam ako siya. Ah, tagal. 
you know what guys you, 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 you know what guys you order you order a standard pulled pork yung talagang yung as in yung hindi pa as in yung halos buo pa yung piik yung, yung piglet na yung piglet as in buo pa ang mahal niyan sa mga Chinese restaurant dahil sa mga first class Chinese restos ang mahal niyan napakamahal niyan o buti ba bumili ka na lang ng Bumili na lang kayo ng ano, ng litsyon de leche, mas mura pa. Yung sibu litsyon de leche, mas mura pa yun. <laughs> mas mura pa yun. It's not that easy to cook kasi. Much less, do it like Liu Mao Sing did. Okay? I'm not gonna get you into the details because I want you to watch this episode. I want you to watch this episode. Grabe. All I can, all I can guarantee you guys is this. Matatakam na naman kayo. Sa, sa anime na to because of this episode. <laughs> Grabe. Makes you wanna... Makes you wanna... Forget about this... About this whole COVID-19 bullshit and... Uh, book myself... Book myself a grab ride to the nearest... To the nearest first class Chinese restaurant and get myself that food pork. <laughs> ang sarap talaga. Ang sarap, ang sarap panore. Na, nakakatakang kanina eh. So... True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode four. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up and a big two. <laughs> two thumbs up and a big two. Grabe. Although this episode was uh, reimagined, was reimagined, the essence of the original series is there. If you're, if you're just as familiar with If you're, if you're just as familiar as me when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to the original series you know that when I say na nakakatakam ang nakakatakam ang anime na to aagree kayo sa akin sigurado aagree kayo sa akin ito kasi yung what you this set the bar this anime set the bar really high the original version it set the bar really high when it comes to cooking animes Talaga ang galing. Alright? It was... The original series was... Was was a masterpiece. Okay? Obra maestra. That's why it's a classic. That is why it's a classic. Kaya nga ni-reboot eh. I think the original studio was Toei. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure pa eh. Hindi ko matanda talaga eh. Because it was in the 90s. To... To reimagine... At these three episodes of this anime into one, that's hard to do. That is so hard to do. Grabe ang ginawa ng production IG dito. Ang galing ng pagkaka, pagkaka-portray nila sa original series when it comes to this episode. Talagang, you could feel it, you could feel it in, uh, in Mao's facial expression that he wants to beat, he wants to beat Yakan. He really wants to beat him. By fire technique, by fire technique pa. Kaya siguro, may nalalaman din kaya ako niyan. Yung, yung tatay ni, yung tatay ni may, yung tatay ni may kaya ka nagturo sa akin. Gagamitin ko sa iyo to. <laughs> kung ano na ano natutunong ko kay Master Shuyo, gagamitin ko sa iyo ngayon. <laughs> Ikaw ang sasampo lang ko. So, the cooking battle was on. Yun, you could also see, um, you could also see, A major character development here in Maui. Kasi, Five Tiger Stars, talaga, nilapitan niya, tinignan niya sa matang, tinignan niya sa matang ganun eh. Challenge accepted. Una lang sabihin niya, Bring it, bitch! <laughs> Bring it, bitch! Una lang lang, yun ang sabihin niya, sabihin niya kay Yakal kanina eh. But, I like, let's talk about, let's talk about Maui's character development for a while. I love how he's, uh, how he's, uh, what you call this? How, uh, how much he's being developed here. I, I love the character development on Lu Mao Zing here. Doon kasi sa original series, medyo mabagal. Medyo mabagal yung character development niya. He was, despite, uh, going up against the entire cooking underworld yan. Five Tiger Stars na. 
He's still that fun-loving guy. He is still that uh, who loves to goof off in the middle of a cooking battle. Dito, sa reboot, nagpakita siya ng angas talaga. He's not going to back down on, on the fight Tiger Stars. He's not going to back down. Talaga, pinakita niya rito. Production IG, I salute you for this reboot. <laughs> so again, True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode four. Two thumbs up, all right. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Next episode, boy, mukhang. Ito mukhang natatanda akong episode na to. Mukhang natatanda akong episode na to. So, I'm not going to fill in all the details kasi bumabase lang ako sa original series eh. Bumabase lang ako sa original series because I saw nearly all of its episodes. Siguro. Yeah! I did not probably see this episode from the original series. Kaya parang hindi ko matandaan eh. Hindi ko matandaan. But, the next episode parang may... I think I think I got some recall on that. Alright, so, let's just watch it, shall we? Let's just watch it. The Seven Deadly Sins, Dragon's Judgment, Episode 4. Holy shit! Up to now, I could not fathom what I just witnessed in the final scene. Okay? I could not fathom what I just witnessed in the final scene. Grabe. Kaya pala gano'n na lang ang hidden desire niya kay Elizabeth. Kasi kapwa niya Goddess Clan. Kapwa pala niya Goddess Clan. Tanginang yan. Grabe. Uh, another key scene here is... Whoa! Whoa! The Demon King has finally showed himself. Basta naman sasabi ko... The cause of all the memory wipes were done by a forbidden spell. It is so powerful, you can use it even on the Demon King. And probably on the Supreme Deity. Ganong kalakas yun. It supersedes divinity. Pero wow. For someone to cast a spell like that, whoa, that is fucking scary. Even in modern times. Sa Twitch, we can call that Pog. Alright. Pero, on you, well, anywhere else, we call it OP. Overpowering. Whew. I still could not comprehend um, what kind of a spell it is. The details on how it is cast, kung ano effect, at what nyo, why it hasn't affected Gauter. Eh, buhay na siya ng panahon na yun. Nung panahon na kinast ang spell na to. Why it hasn't affected Gauter? Well, Nor normal kasi normal sila Hawk sila sila Escanor okay? normal sila Hawk sila Escanor uh, Ban okay? hindi kahit si Ban eh o oh, ano Ban is not affected by that spell so is Gauter and because of that because <clears throat> during those times when that spell was cast yata Buhay na silang, buhay na silang dalawa. They were already alive when this spell was cast. Ah! Whew! Alright, it's racking my brain right now. It's racking my brain sa... Gusto ko na, gusto ko na sabunutin yung sarili ko. Whew! Overall, it's one hell of an episode again. Wow! Okay? You could feel it in your bones that the seven deadly sins, well, the seven deadly sins is ending. Kasi, number one, number one, nagpakita na ang Demon King. Okay? The Demon King has finally showed himself. Number two, meron palang, uh, meron palang, meron palang secret spell that kept Mael, um, uh, dead in the memories of his fellow goddesses pero alive at or uh, bilang anak ng demon king 
all right? That in itself is mind-boggling. I really... Now, now, mga kalaisal, Twitch, I really want to see the next ep- the next few episodes of what is going to happen. Kasi, crucial ang episode na to. Very crucial ang episode na to. Alright? You ask me. It's a very crucial episode. I hope ASMR gets me into a deep sleep tonight, alright? Because I will be thinking about this all night long. Alright? Yung pace, yung flow, and of course, the plot, alright? Talagang, talagang pakiramdam ko, matatapos na ang Seven Deadly Sins. Alright? Here's where I, here's where I first got that feeling na talagang it'll all be over soon. We all know, this is the final season of the Seven Deadly Sins anime. It's manga, I think, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. But it's also about to end. And eh, kasi final arc na rito sa anime, so I think that's, it has ended already. So, talagang, the, uh, the end is near for this anime. Uh, well, right now, I'm excited because they... Studio D threw me a mind-boggling episode with this one. They threw me a mind-boggling episode. And I like it. And I absolutely like it. So, the Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment episode for... Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up and a big toe. Yeah. And a big toe. Grabe ang impact nito. I think I want... I may rewatch this episode because I really want to. Uh, I really want to. Uh, what you call this? I really want to deep dive in. May deep dive factor ang episode na to. Okay. That's, uh, sorry. Well, I had, I actually coined that term during my last review. I said there was one episode of uh, I think. Uh, I know during that during uh, during that day. Meron ako you know, the term called Deep Dive Factor. If a particular episode in an anime makes, really, makes you, uh, makes you think deep and formulate your own, formulate your own theories about it, that's the Deep Dive Factor. This episode also has that Deep Dive Factor. So it's, now, it's compelling me to rewatch it. It's compelling me to rewatch it because it's <clears throat> Gusto kong himay-himayin eh. Ang sarap himay-himayin yung ganitong episode eh. Anong, uh, what is this spell all about? Why, why was, why was this the only time the Demon King showed himself? Is it, is this spell bad enough for the Demon King to show himself? Ba? Ganun eh, ganun yung mga, ganun yung mga tanong na, Ganun yung mga tanong na... Na... Ang tawag ito? Na bumi, bumibira ngayon sa utak ko eh. Ganun yung mga tanong ngayon eh. Alright? So, this episode has that deep dive factor. Grabe. Grabe ang deep dive factor ng episode na to. Alright? So again, The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 4, two thumbs up. Mga lifestyle, two thumbs up. Twitch, two thumbs up. If you're too, if you're too caught up with job with jobless reincarnation, or even uh, any other any other fantasy anime that's any other new fantasy anime that's running right now, I strongly suggest you drop them all and start watching the Seven Deadly Sins. You are missing out. Okay? Kaya kayo. Kahit kayo, mga, uh, mga fans ng YouTube, okay? If you're so busy watching other fantasy animes, please, utang na loob. Drop them all for the seven deadly sins. Watch this episode again and wait for the next episodes to happen, right? We're going to watch that next week. Long Horizon 3rd Season, Episode 4. If you want to... Um, uh, if you want to learn how... 
what, well, not how, but what, what a political exercise looks like, you probably have to watch this episode. Say it's all about how to, uh, how to use common sense, common sense and ethics to successfully run an election campaign. Right? May mga may mga gimmick ang bawat partido. There's also a third party who just simply just want simply just wants to um, simply just wants to make noise for herself, all right? <laughs> and that's, that's no intention of winning the election, but a nuisance candidate, okay? Here in the Philippines, we can call that a nuisance candidate, all right? And final scene, uh, Shiro is just on his own in front of this huge. I, I, I forgot. I forgot on on the naging on on the okay that was I think that was the gate they all went they all came from you know the portal you know the portal you know the portal eh okay do sila na galing lahat sa gate sa gate sa gateway na yon so do sila kung bakak isinuka ng gateway na yon sila isinuka sila ng gateway na yon to that to that place overall. It's a good episode. It's a good episode. Um, if you really want to brush up on how political exercises work, on how campaign campaign period should be done, you can watch this episode. Base nya yung flow plot. Yeah, sakto lang, sakto lang. But what what impressed me is uh, Rainesia's resolve here. She comes from a highly esteemed, no, a highly esteemed family of nobles. Eh. So, in the end, she has to, she has to, uh, you know this? she has to show her result. Kailangan, kailangan panindigan niya ito sa harapan mismo ng pamilya niya, and she successfully did. So, Long Rise on Third Season Episode Four. On top up. On top up. I'm sure you guys want to. I'm sure you guys want to know why. Because it had a lot. It had some funny moments. All right. It had some funny moments, but it's not enough to to con to uh to convince me that I should get give it a two thumbs up. Magandang tema, magandang plot, the the pace and the um. And no, not not exactly the flow. Okay. Yung flow kasi, um, para pagano gano ni, eh. right? And yung humor, y- y- you need humor. This is a this is a campaign period, right? This is a campaign period. You need, uh, need even your humor should be convincing if you are a candidate, ba? medyo nagpulang sa humor element. Kasi, we're talking about politics here. And you really need humor to to slam your point home with this episode. Pabuli sana kung pabuli sana kung ang current generation of anime fans ay talaga nag-iisip habang, nag- habang nanonood. Alright? I myself think while I watch an anime. Pero... I couldn't say the same thing for the current generation of anime fans. For this particular episode, yeah, for myself, I might have given it a two thumbs up. Pero kulang pa sa humor element para mabigang ko ng two thumbs up ito. Kasi kilangan ni, eh. right? Politics has to be funny in order for it to be understood, right? Even in real life, even in anime. So yun nga. Yun ang inahanap ko rito eh. This is a political exercise. It's an ele- it's it's uh it's it's winding down towards an election. Kailangan smile. Kailangan you know, pagpatawa naman kayo. Pagpatawa naman kayo kahit konti, right? Although there were there were there were really fun there were really funny moments here. Okay? There were really funny moments. Now, I am not expecting any uh any action sequences here kasi eh, syempre tone down ng parehong partido eh. Any uh, any party that resorts to violence, masama magiging dating sa mga viewers. So, 
I think the animators were were actually avoiding that in those small action sequences for this particular episode. Yeah. But uh, it still didn't warrant two thumbs up for me. Because they should have pushed the envelope when it comes to humor. So again, Long Horizon third season episode four. One thumb up. One thumb up. I ain't gonna fill you in on the details as to what the next episode will be. Kung napalod nyo ang episode na to, just like me, alam nyo na dapat. Alright? So, we'll just have to watch the next episode. Beastars 2nd Season Episode 4. I am impressed with this episode. You know what? You, you want to know why, mga Kalaista? You want to know why, Twitch? The lead characters are breaking out of their shell. Right? We all know. Tinambakan si Legacy. Now he wants to go after that guy. Because he believes he's the key to solving Tem's murder. First official mission ni Louie as the, as the boss of the Shishigumi. The ones with the the ones, the group that is predominantly lion, <laughs> okay? He's the, we all know he's the boss of that. Protection racket ngayon ng, ano nila, ang um, system. Then, final scene, sino to? Juno wants to see Louis with, with the, with the, with the status he's in right now. What's the deal? Okay? What's the deal? I don't know what's her deal. I don't know what's your deal, actually. Overall, okay, it is a great episode. So it's a really great episode, and <clears throat> uh, the pace, yung, yung pace, tama lang. Yung flow kasi, two stories are, two stories are seemingly converging together. Okay, so, yeah, that's understandable, kasi, yung mga lead characters, they're, they're taking, they're taking different paths, eh. and they all have Louis, particularly Louis and Legacy. So they they took a took a different path by skipping school first. <laughs> okay, the plot, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. tasty the plot, <laughs> tasty. It is a great episode, and there is uh, there is some character development now when it comes to Legacy. And of course, we now see Louis in his first official function as a crime boss. So, B Star second season episode four. Two thumbs up. All right, two thumbs up. You know what? I don't know why people are deliberately missing out on season two of B Stars. Four episodes in. I tell you guys, it's vintage B stars as to character development, yung uh, of course the pace, the flow, and of course the plot. Okay. Vintage B stars. Alam mo, kasi pinanood ko season one eh. on its first airing. Pinanood ko yon, so I know what how it felt. Uh, I know how it felt um, when you watch B stars for the first time. Now, I don't know why people are why people are missing out on season 2. Okay? Ang ganda ng twist ng episode 2 eh. Ano eh? Nung, yan, nung episode 2. Ang ganda ng twist eh. Alright? Louis becomes a crime boss and well, now, Legacy has skipped school just to just to solve his friend's murder. Alright? And, lo and now, here in episode 4, we see Juno trying to arrange a meeting with Louie. Anong deal ni Juno doon? What's her purpose? What's her purpose? Yun ang alamin natin in the next few episodes. Right? Kaya dapat, tumutok na tayo sa Beastars Season 2. So again, Beastars Second Season Episode 4, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Like I said, 
we'll have to we'll have to watch the next episode we'll have to wait for the next episode to find out what's going to happen to Juno. Kasi ang itinitiser lang ng anime na to ay yung title ng next episode. So, you just have to watch it. 